What's up guys, Father Face Blitz here, and today we'll be taking a look at all the Lego Star Wars summer sets. And we have all the images now. We'll be starting off with the images that we've already seen before, like the Mandalorian sets and the Father Face Battle Pack and um, some other sets that we've already seen images for. Then we'll get into the new stuff, but starting off with our first set here is Mandalorian and Child's Brick Heads. And um, we have Mandalorian here on the right, and we have Baby Yoda on the left. This one will be a popular set because of Baby Yoda. But starting off with the Mandalorian, his build is nice, I think. He is um, wearing his, um, from the first few episodes, not his, um, Baskin armor, but he's wearing it from the first few episodes, which all the sets are based off of. Um, or at least the Mandalorian minifigures are, and um, he has his gun in the back, Mandalorian helmet. I think this one looks good. We have um, the Baby Yoda kind of like carriage thing that Baby Yoda is sitting in. I think Baby Yoda looks good, and um, I think this one look, looks good. Baby Yoda looks good. At our second image, we have the box art for the Mandalorian brickheads. It says here the child, the Mandalorian, have Mandalorian up here on the side. On the left, we have a picture from the show. And um, I think the box set looks really cool on this. But anyway, I think um, this set looks really, um, this set looks really good. And um, let's hop into the other. Our next set that we have here, continuing with the second Mandalorian set coming out, and this is the Razor Crest. These, um, this looks uh, this looks really cool. Starting off with the with the build here, you have obviously you have the um, Razor Crest. Um, in the front, you have the nice the brown kind of strip that is on the ship. The two big engines on either on both uh, sides. The brass piece overall shaping of it I think looks really good and this will be $130 as you can see and um, I think this looks really uh, this looks really good. I think a few big stickers here. Some stickers over here. A lot of stickers that give a lot of detail to this but I still think it looks really good for the uh, for the box set, we have the Mandalorian here on the right. We have, for the minifigures on the front of the box, we have Baby Yoda, the Mandalorian, Greek Cargus, we have um, IG-88 um, and a Scout Trooper. Um, this set will be very popular because uh, this is the only set currently that you can get Baby Yoda in. It's also a thousand and twenty-three pieces. Uh, look of the ship, which you can fit both of the Mandalorian and the Baby Yoda minifigures. You have, so it looks like you can see some of the interior. My biggest fear of this set is the, um, the um, interior here it does not look um, very, um, like there's nothing in it. And that just bothers me because I love sets with a good interior. And this is just looks like hall space. Um, obviously, it looks like you can put the carbonate freeze people that the Mandalorian has a bounty on in the storage area, but that's about all you can do, it looks like, with the interior, the main interior space. You can see there's some stud shooters, stud shooters integrated into each side of the wings. You have the cockpit and the space back here to fit the Mandalorian's blaster. You can fit the Mandalorian and Baby Yoda up in the front. You have a, another picture of a escape pod, it looks like. Which looks good. I always like to escape vehicles on uh, bigger vehicles because I think that's a really cool play feature. But overall, I think this set is um uh, is really good. Um, you can see that there is even uh, uh some bedrooms here. It almost looks like for the Mandalorian to sleep and a storage unit for the bullets. You can see the back of the box. It shows you all of that good stuff. Have the normal Mandalorian figure from the um, uh, other Mandalorian set that came out earlier this year. We have Baby Yoda, looks good. 
um, he I guess he looks good um, for what he is. Then just the I um, I G eighty eight and the Scout Trooper, the outdated updated um, Scout Trooper. I think um, overall, I think the set looks really good. Um, I think this will be a popular one, and overall, I think this one looks really nice. September 1st, like the Laser Crest and all the other sets that we'll be taking a look at. This is going to be $160 and will be 1,267 pieces. As you can see, we have the ATAT -AT here, comes with a, um, a, um, a um, bike for your um, snow troopers and a little turret. I think this, um, this, the AAT looks really good, um, I think that obviously the AAT looks really good, but I think the other ones have looked good too, I don't think there's too much of a difference, there's some things, but I think overall this is an improvement, and it does look good, the price is a little bit iffy on this, but, um, the main thing is that it comes with is what you would expect a, um, snow loop, comes with someone to, um, oversee, thing comes with two pilots and two snow troopers. You can see that Luke can come up on the underside of the AAT and throw in the thermal detonator that the set includes. You can see the interior here is six seats, so you can fit six snow troopers that they do not give you, they only give you two. It would be nice to see them for a $160 set. Throw in an extra four snow troopers so you can have the whole fleet, but um, that's just what it is, I guess. And we have the cockpit or the motion to turn the thing up here. Then on the back, you can also put the speeder on the back, and you can see the back of the box. There, overall, I think this is a this is a uh, okay set. I think it looks good, it's just the price that might be a little bit iffy. Um, I think it would have been a lot better if they included the extra um, four snow troopers, but um, yeah, I think it looks pretty decent, I guess. And the next set we have here is a very important one to me and a lot of people. This is the 501st Legion Chrome Trooper. Um, set. This will be um, $30 and it will have 285 pieces. Now you're getting the uh, bug speeder there on the left and the um, walker there on the right. I think for $30 this is an amazing, 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 amazing set. This is everything that um, I could dream for in a Five of his battle pack, I guess you could say. This is what I call the Five of his battle pack deluxe, which you can look at it being thirty dollars and fifteen, and say fifteen. You probably could have got more minifigures for your money, but the builds in the thirty dollar version are a lot better because they would be downsized in the battle pack, and they wouldn't look as good for army building. But you could have got more Five of his troopers, so you can take that either way you want, but. Take a look at the bug speeder. You have the cream, gray, and blue color scheme. Love that. Next to night shield pieces at the front to give it that sharp edge, which is very nice. You have the stud shooters that I think look look fine. Um, there you can put uh, you see a receiver minifigure in the bug speeder, and the walker looks very good. Also, the stud shooter on the front looks a little bit off, but that's okay. That's an easy fix if you wanted to. Not too much I can complain about the set. It has the gray, the blue looks good. Obviously, 501st unit color scheme. Uh, take a look at the box. The box set looks very really cool. You can see that there is the 332nd Trooper on the top right corner. Uh, you can um, see the minifigures that it comes with is one 501st Jet Trooper, three standard 501st Troopers, and two Battle Droids. Um, I like them. It includes a two battle droids. I think that's an extra throw in so you can have an um, battle droid army building up as well. Um, I like the jet trooper. Looks really cool. Extra blue 
symbols on there, and the Battle Phase Troopers look really cool. I think good update, in my opinion. Back of the box shows you everything you can do with the sketches and the articulation of the set. But overall, I'll definitely be getting a lot of these sets. Love these sets. And let's look at the or a a t. This will be forty dollars, and this will include two hundred and eighty six pieces. Um, taking a look at this set, um, you can see it has the gray and dark blue Clone Wars color scheme. Has some of the cannons on the front, and a lot of people haven't been liking this A A T too much. But in my opinion, I'm just happy to get sets from the Clone Wars because. I um, uh, wasn't really old enough to get the first edition of the Chrome War set, so I'm really happy to get anything like this and, and to include good minifigures with a cheaper set. I think the overall uh, look of this, I like it. You can see some blue at the bottom, the cannons. You can put two minifigures, one in the bottom there, and one in the top, man in the gun. Has the 332nd Legion Clone Trooper like the 501st Battle Pack. Box art looks really cool. Um, this and the 501st Battle Pack. Love the Clone Wars backgrounds. Take a look at the figures. Um, this is where it starts to get really exciting for the set. You have two Kashyyyk Battle Droids, I believe, with the green color scheme. You have the Ahsoka figure, which is definitely like a very important figure to me. A lot of other people to get an Ahsoka minifigure. Um, this Ahsoka minifigure looks awesome. Probably like, the best looking Ahsoka minifigure, one of the best um, looking Ahsoka minifigures. And it just looks really cool um, like that. Then we have a um, 332nd Trooper between the Ahsoka and the 332nd or Ahsoka clone Trooper. This, these minifigure selections are off the charts amazing. I uh, really like the two minifigures um, on the right there with Ahsoka in the 332nd. 332nd uh, troopers look awesome. I think they look equally as cool as the 501st unit. And I um, I love the 501st and I think that you can make a, like a three, um, 332nd Legion and 501st Legion Clone Trooper um, army. And that's what I'm going to do. Kind of combine them. Combine Anakin and Ahsoka to this one big cool army and um I think that'll look really cool and I think that's something you can do. Um overall I think this is really cool. You can put um a battle droid on the top there to man the gun and put them on the bottom to drive the um the AAT which I am glad because most vehicles this um, day and age, you have this huge vehicle and only one minifigure goes in. It's nice to see some of the smaller sets. You can still put your two battle droids in the vehicle, which is pretty accurate. And I really like this set. Definitely will be getting this set. And I think this is an amazing set. And I, I love it. So, yeah. The Night Buzzard. This will be $70 with... 595 pieces. Um, take a look at the Night Buzzard. Um, this this looks. Um, a lot of people. Some people like this um set a lot because it looks big and yet it does look big if you um if you look on the other side. It looks like really hollow on the other side. Like it's just this flat thing with flats that come down to make it like one big substantial build and um that's what. I uh, feel for this set that's just like hole underneath, and it's just like a base around. That's what it's like. Uh, that's what it's looking like, and it has the black pose scheme, which looks good. You get the ray that um is coming in another set that we'll be taking a look at, and um and in a set for episode nine. Um, and it's in you know it's hinting that the another ray, but you get the final two nights of rain that you need. If you are keeping up with getting all of the Knights of Ren. Um, Class of 2019 box out with the white. Um, and the Darth Vader love the box out. No complaints about bringing that back for this uh, wave. You can see the Knights of Ren up close. And the main main figure. Um, Knights of Ren look really cool. The brand new printings and helmet modes look awesome. Can't complain about that. 
set looks pre pretty cool, I would say. Um, I probably won't be getting this one unless I find a good deal on it. Like a lot of sets, can't get a lot of them because the other sets are pricey. But if um, I find a good deal, I'll definitely be picking up some of these sets. But this one isn't on the highest priority list right now. But I think it's a pretty decent set the way it is. We have here is the General Grievous Starter Fighter. This will be $80 with the uh, 487 pieces. And um, I don't know what to say about this. I mean, clearly it's um, it's overpriced. Um, that's just like, um, that's just straight up what it is. It's overpriced. And um, I don't, like, I can't say too much about it. It's just overpriced. And um, I, I mean, the ship looks nice, it looks fine. For what it is, um, it's not my thing, and I won't be getting this. But it has the same General Grievous figure, um, white General Grievous figure, has the same Obi Wan as the dual final dual set on Mustafar, um, which sucks. It has the Airborne Jeeper, which um, it, it, it's whatever. But um, the box art, it you know, it's what it is. Like I said. Many figures, the Obi Wan, Airborne Trooper, uh, Jenny Grievous. Um, sucks that this is uh, so high priced, but so is everything with Jenny Grievous. So, yeah, um, not too much to say about this one, just disappointed, and it's about it. So, the same thing with the Jenny Grievous. Um, this one isn't, uh, I would say, overpriced. It's $30, comes to 248 pieces. Comes with Anakin on to D2, same Anakin as the Battle of Mustafar set. I have the 2014 Yellow Interceptor. I don't know if it's 2014, but the other Interceptor. And um, to be honest, I'm literally staring at the other Interceptor now. To be honest, if you gave me both of these, I don't really know if I could tell you what's different. I mean, I really don't see anything different. I mean, they have the same printed, printed pieces. I just don't. I just don't know anymore. This looks the exact same. Like, I, I get it. That 2014, I believe, was when this came out. Sure, that's a while ago, but, like, like can we just, like, please, like, do something else, like the green one, or, like, something just not to do this again? Um, I just, I just was hoping for something different with this set, but, um, it's a good set, I guess, for people that don't have it and that want it, so, um, but that doesn't really interest me. As transport, um, this will be a hundred dollars for the a thousand, I'm sorry, 932 piece is on this. It comes with the, uh, two, um, characters from the, um, thing and two droids, and this is a, um, this is a, um, the um, Disney theme park um, Galaxy's Edge um, um, set basically, and this is for Rise of the Resistance, I believe, and it's actually very cool because this um, earlier this year I got to ride this um, exact ride, so it's cool to see this brought into Lego right after I uh, rode the Rise of the Resistance. Very cool ride if you ever get the chance to do it. But, um, the back, back so it looks good, um, has the cockpit, shows some of the interior, nothing, um, too much um, going on here. I think this is a cool set, nothing that really interests me too much, just because I like the more of the, um, main stuff, because if I'm going to spend my hard-earned money, I want it to be something really cool, and just something, I'm like, oh yeah, that's the, um, that's it, and, um, so, um, yeah, not too much else to say about this. Um, I think it's a, a good set, though, for um, what it is. Next set we have here is the Death Star Final Duel set, coming out September 1st for $800. There's 775 pieces. Um, I think this is overpriced, personally, but I love this set, to be honest. If this was, like, $80, um... I would really love to get this set, and 
I would get it immediately. I wouldn't wait for any deals. I would just, I would want to get this right away. I really like the hallway where you can put the, um, Palpatine's guards. I think that looks really cool. Then coming up here, I like the, um, seat and the panels out here. You can throw, um, Palpatine down the shaft with Darth Vader. We create that scene over there on the left. Over there, you can have Darth Vader and Luke fight from in The Last Jedi, the, um, movie, and you have Palpatine, um, two Palpatine's cards, Luke, and, um, Darth Vader, and I think I really like how this set looks, box art is, um, uh, standing for what you would think, and, uh, you have the, um, Luke minifigure, and, um, you have the Darth Vader with arm printing, as you can see right there, which is really cool, you have some silver arm printing for Darth Vader with arm Printing very cool that Lego's going in the direction of Abby. Arm printing two figures like that. You have the Palpatine and the two guards standing many figures. This is basically a new release of the old set with a few changes here and there, like these side panels there, um, to make sure that these can connect fully. But other than that, this is a new release of a set, but I think it's a it's a good new release except for the price, but so it looks cool, and that's really all. Is the Lego Stars Advent Calendar? This will be forty dollars coming out on September first. Box art looks cool. You get the um, you get um, this one's. Uh, I really like this. I won't go too much into detail on this because it's an Advent Calendar. I'll just give a quick overview of it. Um, you get um, um, you get six minifigures um, with this. You get the Stormtrooper, you get uh, Darth Vader, Ray, Sif Trooper, Luke, and um, Poe. You get an um, ugly Christmas sweater, Poe, and um, Darth Vader. Love those minifigures. Glad to see that they're doing the popular Christmas. You get Christmas, Christmas deal, and some other cool builds, but I'm not going to look at that too long. Um, but, um, I think this, this is a very good advent calendar. Definitely better than the past few years that we've got them. And, um, I think this is a very good one. I'll definitely be doing this, because I love doing the advent calendar type things, because I think it's fun. And, um, so, I would definitely recommend trying the Lego advent calendars out, because I love the Christmas time, and I love the whole idea of the advent calendars. But, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the new sets coming out, um, I know I will be, um, and, um, yeah, I just hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please subscribe, um, it would mean a lot, um, and tell me, uh, what sets you guys are looking forward to, or what you want, and what you don't like, and we can talk about it in the comments, um, but anyway, thanks for watching.